I feel a wave coming on. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Freddie Davis the third with the Undrafted Media Group Takeaways. Let's go. I think I'm gonna just call this Takeaways Tuesdays just because I accidentally, it wasn't an accident, but I did I did realize that I uploaded the last takeaways on a Tuesday when I really meant to upload it on a Wednesday. So it would have been called Takeaway Wednesdays, but now since we already on Tuesdays, we might as well just start. Takeaway Tuesdays, episode two. Let's get it. But once again, this video in this series is meant to help creating like a things that I've learned, things that experienced, and I want to share that with you. Uh, you may be a videographer, you may be uh, an artist, you may be a business, um, and hopefully it can give you some tools and some insight on the aspects of videoing and just like the whole like feng shui of what we experience on set. Right. And even like the things after, like to complete the project, to help us to be better videographers, better artists that have videographers or businesses that have videographers, um, any anything that has to do with video, you'll be able to have some insight on what it is that we do. <laughs> And this is no no means to bash people. I just find it more helpful to to people that really want to learn and really want to see another perspective. Right. So um, we're going to get into it, man. Let's go. So I had the opportunity to do some video work for the homie one. P U. And also, 1KP Sun was in the building as well. So I do have to say shout out to my homie Prodigal um, for connecting me with um, the team management that they have. Uh, shout out to Jeremiah. And it was great. Uh, so this is the thing. So we want to we want to talk about the things that we did well. And I say we a lot of the times because even though it's just me right now on um, Chapter Media Group, the vision is it's going to be a lot more people. It's going to be employees. It's going to be great things. Right. So I always when you start something, just start thinking about what it is that it should be, that you feel like God has put it on your heart to be, and just keep rolling with that, all right? So when I say we, that's what I mean, we, the company, Unjacked Media Group. So let's talk about the things that we did well, things done well. Mm. All right, so we're going to just start with the basics, right? We arrived on time. Now, when I when I did arrive, right, uh, there was a parking garage at the hotel. Um, it wasn't necessarily tied to the hotel. And when I went to valet, they said that that parking garage was not available. So I went ahead and checked myself and I was able to get past the front. Right. So I got past that section where it, it actually asked for your telephone number, put my telephone number in and it let me in. And there was a couple of cars there. So I was like, hmm, that's weird. And so when I was going up and I was like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. However, I'll just park. So I talked to Jeremiah. He said, hey, listen, just take valet. We'll pay for it. No worries. So was able to do that while I'm saying that communication was great during and bef before and during the the time of the gig. Now, um, 1K Few had an uh, event here in Dallas, Texas, and the, what they wanted me to do is capture some behind the scene footage um, and also capture some some footage of a new music video that he's going to release on his new project. So I was like, hey, when I actually did like doing the music video stuff. I was like, hold on, you just released a project like two months ago, like a, a really dope project called As I Am. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out now. Stop playing with your life. And so uh, he's like, yeah, I'm just getting ready for another album. So, you know, when you're in that kind of mode, you you have probably like albums on deck. Right. So um, we get I get to the hotel and me and the manager, we just like get some grub. Right. So we get some grub. Really great stuff. We got some, I got some tacos. I really wanted, so this thing, I really wanted, what is it? Salmon tacos, but they didn't have salmon tacos. The only ones, the only thing left was shrimp or chicken. So I was like, I'll oh, just give me chicken. They did have some great tea, 
which the waiter gave me like a couple of teas to take home. So I was like, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, one, for looking out for your boy. After that, um, we started to do the video stuff, right? And um, it was going great. We did maybe like three or four scenes, music video wise. And hopefully it does make it, <laughs> hopefully it does make it to the actual video, man. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. And you know, if it's good for them, I'll be like, hey, appreciate you, Lord, appreciate you. So that was dope, right? There was some, like, there was a dude that was, you know, security. They have to be mindful of, you know, who's doing what and how they doing it and, you know, all in their business stuff. So we doing this video shoot and he comes to me and he's like, hey, man, listen, what y'all doing? Y'all can't be doing this and we don't know anything about it. And he's charging me up like, hey, bro, like, he don't know. But I'm like, listen, I just came to record. OK, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, but that's what I wanted to say. So anyways, manager talks to him, everything like that. So we like, all right, cool. We got this one set. Let's say, uh, you know, go, let's go back to the, up to the hotel. So we start recording some more, right? We got to record some more. All right. That's what we did. I ain't saying no hotel. I ain't saying, you know what I'm saying? All that kind of stuff. All I'm just saying is that we were able to still get some content, right? So that was dope. We went up to the room, got some video footage in the room. Uh, and really just chilled out, really. It was more so just like chill out, getting some behind the scenes stuff. So that was great. So things we done well. And then, I'm, and then I'm working my way to the event, right? So bear with me for a few moments. Things done well. I believe that, you know, we got a lot of the footage that they were looking for. So that was great. I, I haven't heard anything otherwise. So, you know, that it's been a couple of, it's been like, it's been like three weeks. So I'm pretty sure we got the footage that they were looking for. Right. Uh, we did get the footage they were looking for. That's right. We did. We did. So we got, we collect the footage of them leaving the hotel. Right. So from the hotel room to getting into the van. Right. We got collect, collected footage of that. We also collected some footage in the van, which it was dark. And, you know, when you have low, very low light settings. You know, it's kind of hard to get like good quality in those type of settings. <laughs> that's, that's the main two things I need right now. That's crazy, but got a trip. So, I mean, we did we did get footage in the car. I don't know how you know much they can use of that, but it was you know they, we got it. And also, we got some footage of them um, getting out the van to go into the the event, right? We also got some uh, footage of like in the green room, got footage of the sound check. And then we just got some footage just like, you know, B-roll stuff. So like I said, the green room again and just having conversation and, you know, what I'm saying not everything needs to be recorded. Right. Um, however, I did want to make sure that I was recording as much as I could to capture the moments. That's what we do here at Undraft Media Group. We capture the moments, son. Capture. Performance, we, uh, and of course, we captured a performance scene. Uh, things we done well with that, like just navigating through the crowd. And as a videographer, you have to know how to navigate through the crowd. I know it's tight. I know that people are going to get in your way. I know that there are some obstacles you have to go through, but you have to get out and move around. You cannot be afraid of the crowd and the audience. All right. You got to go. All right. So with me, like I just follow the spirit, honestly, like the spirit tells me to go this way. I go this way. The spirit tells me to go this way. I go this way. You tell me to lift up. I lift up. Like there's some senses that you just have to really be in tune with. And so as you develop your, your flow and how you want to maneuver, like you'll see like pockets where you can just go. Right. So, um, and then also on top of that, things we've done well is doing the slow-mo, like, during this whole performance stuff, I mean, there's, you don't want to just capture like regular, like, I don't want to say regular, but normal speed. There's some things that you want to actually capture in slow-mo and maybe your camera, you can like still capture everything in normal speed. And then you speed, you slow it down. Like once you actually get the footage, but for me, I'd rather capture it in slow mode, like in the mode that it's supposed to be in. So that's what I did. I spent some of the time um, going to slow motion mode and capturing it. Right. So when you have like the, 
the what do they call it? The silhouette silhouette shots. When you have people's hands up and you're behind uh, behind them and everybody has their hands up and you just kind of like pan around to the crowd. Sick shot. Very sick. Right. Um, and, you know, that that came out well. Also, uh, just getting some footage, of course, on the stage, you know what I'm saying? Not to be afraid of the stage. The stage is your friend. It was really tight there. So I, we did my, we did our best capturing the moments on the stage. I, you know, you don't want to be like, be the center of attention. Um, you still want to make sure you maintain distance. Um, but just learn how to move. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to move, move your feet, move your feet. So that's what we did. You know what I'm saying? Um, we followed him on to the stage. You know what I'm saying? When you want, you you have an artist and the artist wants to capture the moment, like you're following them on the stage. So we captured that. Also, like at the end, I took a couple of photos, not too many, but a couple of photos. That's the things we done well. I mean, we did a lot of things well, probably more than I can actually add on here, but those are the main things we've done well, right? And also communicating with the artists. So let's go to the things that, things to improve on, right? So was it, cause one, once again, when you have events and you have gigs, not everything goes according to plan. Not everything, not everything. And that's okay. You were not Superman. Even Superman had kryptonite. You were great in your day, Superman, but it just stands to reason. You know what I'm saying? He has some, you know, some with kryptonite. So you're not Superman, not Superwoman. You're going to have some issues. You're going to have some mistakes. Um, but you got to learn from them. Say it with me. Learn from them. All right. So the things that need to improve on. One of the things that we did is we captured some footage in the hotel room. Like I said, right. The hotel room was low lighting. And what we could have done is brought like took out the lights and just recorded like with the lights on. Right. So that was, you know, something that we missed. We dropped the ball on that. We could have just done that instead of capturing it without the lights. I still looked OK. However, it would have looked way better if the lights, if there was a light on at least one like this ring light. You know what I'm saying? So we could have done that. Learn from our mistakes. Next time we're in a hotel situation ring we're gonna have the light up all right so no more living in the dark all right get out of the dark and live in the light may i may i say that they are they they are hilariously funny 1k p son and 1k few they're hilarious they love the lord and they're hilarious and one thing i do want to add just as people right it's crazy how some people don't understand and use common sense when engaging with artists or business people or some people of influence and you people may not even know who they are. Right. But it's just the it's just the thing like, yo, just treat them like a, a normal human being. Like it's not that difficult. We come across normal people, normal human beings every day. Like so just treat people with courtesy. Treat people how you want to be treated, right? And I'm just saying that from a perspective of listen, listen. Uh, I I knew who they are, right? You, when you book somebody or when you have a gig to do work with somebody, it would behoove you, behoove you to do your research on the entity that you are gonna be in contact with. Do your research at least a little bit. Find out their bio. What are they, you know what I'm saying? Check out their music. Check out like some of the projects that they done. Like, cause you never know. You never know what kind of connections you can make. And also you just want to be aware of, of who you are amongst. That's just common. Just, just, and then if you don't do it for anything else, just do it just because like you want to know more about that person. Do that. Please. Can you, can you do that for me, please? Please. You, 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 listen, just do it. Things also to improve is Lord have mercy uploading files. <laughs> I said this before. I have a love hate relationship with Google drive. All right. I, re I really do. I really do. And it's nothing. It is personal. Okay. It is personal. Um, and I uploaded these files and they were just like taking a sweet old time. 
Like they ain't care about time. Like they fam, when we we gonna get there when we get there, okay? Don't try to rush me, okay? So it took a long time for these files to upload. So in the midst of that, you know, the manager says, Hey, can you send it through WeTransfer? I said, Listen, I've tried WeTransfer before, and WeTransfer wasn't transferring correctly. <laughs> I said, However, I'll give it a shot. I'll listen, if it if, if that's what we need to do to get the footage to you, then we gonna do it. So great graciously they paid for like a month sub a month subscription to WeTransfer. So we start I started to upload, I'd upload like two clips to WeTransfer, right? Just two because listen, this is what we're dealing with here. This is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with I had 70 gigabytes worth of video. 70 giga. Bytes. That's a lot to transfer, fam. So what I initially did was I I sent two two video clips, right? Because I felt like if they needed anything, then it would be these two right now, right? So I sent those two successfully. No issues. Praise God, no issues. And then and this is all in the midst of the Google Drive, all these all these uh files that are being uploaded now. I just want to say that I I named them, I titled them and everything, right? Because I don't want uh, the entity to get it and be like, which one is which? I want to make sure, we want to make sure here at Undraft the Media Group that you have all your files organized so you don't have to go through all that stuff, naming everything, right? Because that that is annoying and that it takes some time, right? It takes a lot of time. So we did that. And this is all in the midst of uploading to uh, Google Drive. So sent those two clips, right? I was like, okay, the water seems nice here. Seems, seems stable. Let's go ahead and send the whole file. <laughs> Yo, I'm sending the whole file through WeTransfer as I'm sending it through Google Drive. WeTransfer says, in Google Drive, I already said, yo, we gonna, it's going to take about 16 hours. We transfer said, yo, it's going to take about 17 hours to send all this information, man. It's going to take 17 hours, man. 17 now, bro. So I was like, okay, bet. So just like Google Drive, I leave my computer. Even when I'm going to work, I leave my computer so it can upload. That's what the computer's supposed to do. So I do that the night of, right? Same night, um, I sent those two files, right? I ever have everything and I'm uploading everything to WeTransfer. It says 17 hours. I go to sleep. I wake up. I come back. And you know what this joker said? 16 hours. I said, fam, I know I didn't go to sleep for no one hour. Like, I went to sleep for a few hours. All right? No pun intended. I went to sleep for a few hours, fam. I don't get it. I don't get it. So I was like, okay, that's frustrating. And so anyways, the Google Drive files finally uploaded. Praise. Praise the Lord, right? They finally upload. And I'm like, okay, bet. So they got things, they stuff. We don't have to do we transfer. <laughs> I ain't fooling with we transfer. <laughs> So a few days goes by, I think almost, almost a week, probably five days. And then the manager hits me up like, Hey, how is the transferring to we transfer? And I was like, did you get the Google drive? Everything went through. And then he said, Hey, well, the editor wants everything and we transfer. Oh my. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, I thought we were past this. I was like, all right, you know what? Yes. So, you know, listen, this is the thing. When you are, when you have a gig and you have said and committed to that gig and to that project and you have committed to giving them what they need, whatever kind of software they needed to get to it, like do it. It's they stuff, right? Whatever it is. So I was like, you know what? Yes, sir. Like, I don't I don't know how it's gonna work, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> like, and all this time I'm just praying to God, like, please, Lord, let it work. So what I did, 
And this is going to be, this is one thing that I, and this is, has to do with the uploading files. Okay. So bear with me. What, what I did is I went to my internet provider. I went to spectrum website. I went to my account and I looked at how much speed my MPBSs are. I've never done that ever. Never needed to do that. And so when I go check it, the uploading speed was seven megabits per second. Holy headache. What? Seven megabit, what? Seven? Not even in the double digits? I said, Jesus, have we been dealing with this the whole time? Is this why everything takes so freaking slow to go through? I said, oh, no, 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 no. And so, and even before I text uh, the manager, I said, hey, let me check my internet connection just to make sure everything's on the up and up. So then I had to call Spectrum. I said, listen, I don't know what's going on with my internet connection, but it's slow. It's slow, slow. Like, and it was like, you know what? This is like 2018, like type of speed. So anyways, they upgraded my, my speed, my internet stuff. And I had to pay for it, of course, but they upgraded it. And then I got, I think about, it's up to 20 megabits per second. So I was like, praise the Lord. So just FYI, if you are a videographer, a video content creator, and you are sending files and you just so happen to be like looking and checking your Google Drive, your WeTransfer, whatever kind of file you use, Dropbox, and it's going slow, check the internet speed. Do yourself a favor, check the internet speed and see how fast it's actually uploading. All right. So thank you, Jesus. That And then on top of that, it was actually in my favor because I now have a mobile phone through Spectrum and I'm not paying for service for like a year. Right. And even after the services, like I have to start paying, like it's only like $30, fam. So that was a blessing in the sky. So Everything that happens to you is not always a bad thing. Like everything works out for those who love God and are called according to his purposes, right? Everything. <laughs> Listen, all things work together. That's all I'm just saying. All things work together, right? So praise God. We got that done. Now I can move on with uploading the files. So I started uploading the files and got the new, um, the new internet speed is going great. So, you know, Google Drive already did its thing. So I don't have to worry about that. So we transfer. I'm just worried, considering about that. And what I did, what I did was I broke it into parts. Instead of sending the file in a hole, like with the folder, I just sent it in five parts, y'all, because that's a lot of information. That's a lot of data. And so if you send it in pieces, then you know it's a better chance that it'll go more smoothly, right? So for each part, it took about two hours, right? So two, four, six, eight, ten, about ten hours of uploading videos, and uh, they finally got it. So praise God, everything worked, everything went through. So yay, Spectrum! So now we have a reflection moment, right? Reflection moment. I would say, of course, noticing the light will be favorable. Like when you see that there's low light, just add some light if you have some lights so you can, it can be more of a better, crisper shot. Also, um, definitely upgrade the, <laughs> your internet speed if you have slow uh, uploading issues, right? So check that and not being stuck in 2018. Don't be stuck in 2018. You don't want that. You don't want that for your life. All right, and also, man, like 1K P Sun and 1K Few, really great people, uh, really great artists. If you haven't checked them out yet, check them out. Check out their stuff. Check out their projects. They're really great, um, and they just they just want to see people come to God, like, and they want to make a really big impact in this uh, Christian hip hop and also hip hop in general. You know what I mean? Um, really cool people. Like I said, we had conversations and uh, outside of just music, we talked about life. You know what I mean? And uh, just really encouraging each other in that conversation. So it, it was dope. I, I didn't expect it to go like that, but not, but that's how God works sometimes. Right. So just very thankful for that. <clears throat> and 
uh, they're really great people. I'm not putting them on a pedestal. I'm not, I'm not putting them as an idol. I'm just giving people their flowers while they're still here. And it was a privilege to to work with them. It's a privilege and an honor just to be in the in a room with them, be in proximity to them. And whenever you have people that you admire from afar or you appreciate what they do, let them know. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. It's okay. Like sometimes we need to hear that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People need to hear that. They human too. And so when you're in person, you know, affirm. You know what I'm saying? Edify, you know, like just do that. All right. So when I was up in the hotel room with them and just talking, like uh, we came into the topic of music videos. And so I was like, hey, I just edited like my own music video. I was like, hey, check it out. So 1K if you check it out. He's like, oh, that's cool. And so he ain't probably he didn't say it like that. I'm just saying like that's the vibe that I got. I'm like, oh, it's cool. I had the opportunity to show him the video. You know what I'm saying? It didn't come like with me like, hey, one can few check out this. It was just like, oh, since we on a topic, just organically, just like, hey, you mind if you check this video out? I just did it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think. Cause I I like the video concepts that they have, and I think the the editor of some of their videos is his name's Ben. So shout out to Ben. He did the video with uh, 1K Few and What Up RG. Abraham, man, that mug is lit. <laughs> that mug is lit. So um, yeah, so that was just some of the things that I really appreciate about the night. More than just like doing video stuff, just like really uh, just, just getting a feel of who they are. You know what I'm saying? And then when we come back from the event, we were stuck on the highway because everybody's on the highway It's new year's and people want to see fireworks right so people park i didn't know this was the thing people park on the highway to watch the fireworks i'm like yo uh listen i get it you want to be able to see the ball drop i get it and we were we were cool um, I mean, nobody, you know what I'm saying? They were shooting fireworks, but they also shooting something else. Okay, there was people in cars shooting something else. You know what, you know what I mean? I mean, right? And then when we came to the countdown, when we were like, I think at, at like uh, eight minutes, we were able to see the at least the tower where it, had, <laughs> where it had the number eight, you know what I'm saying? About like the, the different time, like counting down. And then we got to the part of the highway where you couldn't see nothing. <laughs> so we were like, oh, man, we can't even see it. So it was funny. It was funny. And uh, they just hilarious, man. They were hilarious. Next, I'm telling the story. He turns around drastically. <laughs> With a dramatic music. <laughs> and they, they were really roasting, man. They were really roasting. I don't say who they roasting. They were roasting me. But they were really roasting. Uh, low key, low key. Nothing vicious though. It was nothing vicious. It was just like, you know, <laughs> you just had to be there. You had to be there, right? And um, so yeah. So anyways, it was great. Had a great time. Once again, this is Andre at the Media Group. Takeaway Tuesdays, episode two. So leave your comments. Leave anything that was encouraging to you, and also something that you. We're listening to that like, oh, maybe you should try this. You know what I'm saying? And if it was helpful, then just say, hey, something that you said was helpful. You know what I'm saying? That'd be appreciative. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to. I'm just saying if it's on your heart to do, you know, go, go ahead and put it in the, in the comments. You know what I mean? So love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Unjust the Media Group. We making plays. Blessings. I feel a wave coming.